Hmm? The woman who been son me a bit, huh? Good morning, Mrs. Ross. How oh, she's one of you, man? Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Shelby. Well, Lizzie been... How happy as you are. Lizzie been, um... How can I help you? Walking with. Well, you see, tomorrow would have been my son's... 21st birthday. Had he lived. And I'm having a bit of a thing, just... Shit. I thought I would invite your brother. Arthur. And also it's a way of saying thank you to the Shelby family for helping me and my children get by. It'll be at my house at midday. He should come at midday. Tom. Your house midday tomorrow, all right. He, he's so, he, 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 he don't know. He don't to be up. And the fact that she's insisting, he's supposed to don't pick up. Goodbye, Mrs. Ross. At midday today, Arthur will be here. 47 Artillery Square. Like a goat, tied up for the fucking tiger, eh, Arthur? Yeah, right. Just like he go with the arm. Um, forgive me. That, <laughs> yeah, Arthur, vengeance forgive. is forthcoming. <laughs> yeah, Arthur, forgiveness, and no. I'll go over to you. Mama, I'm going to kill the shit. Coming for my brother. Leaving him to be unarmed and unprotected. Wow. Make right, sure. Let's go. I give Finn gun. Dark Finn oh, just sorry. lose him here. Been just losing virginity and you're getting gone. Oh, he's not prepared. God. Well, look at our eyes. Dad, look at our eyes like die, like her pupils are dead, dilated. I'm glad you could come. She, when she's, bro, them people here just too good at acting. Bro. Thank you for the invitation. Do you mind if I check? No. How one inside the hat, but you wouldn't know that because you're not really part of the whole gang thing and uh, gang violence. Come in. I continue to talk, no man. Why didn't I continue to say them again? So, where are these other guests? They will be here very soon. That was it. I've heard stories that you have welcomed Jesus into your life. I have indeed. At the beseeching of your wife, do you think your repentance will mean you are forgiven of your sins? <laughs> we both know that it's sins. forgiveness is out of my hands. Yeah. Because I have not yet found it in my heart to forgive you. Wow, my whole fuck here, she all these years. Here, she all. Then, why have you invited me no, right. here today? I know, right? Huh? You've come to murder me. Finn. I do. He's supposed to. Huh? What? Am I going after my car? Yeah. Oh, Arthur, they're not here for you. It must be Michael. If your faith is real, I've got all the kids. Wow. Jack! Was it even Arthur Dad? At on the beds. Last time my man was sent to you, you got lucky. When John, no, when John did. No. You ain't gonna kill him. Your luck's run now. <coughs> what the 
what I'm going to say there. So he did make a deal with freaking Polly. And tell your mother. We have a deal. Wow. So she did make a deal with freaking Luca Dog. What happened, Nash? What happened? They heard you, uh, they heard you coming. Look at the gun was fired. They ran away. Johnny! Something is up. Something is up. That, you see the, that, the whole point, the whole Wait. point that he say, Get out. is so she wouldn't, is so Luca wouldn't kill Arthur nor Michael, and he did not kill Arthur nor Michael. So, it's all nice. Three, three, three. <sighs> I mean, they said no police. There's been an accident. It'll be clear in 20 minutes, all right? Yeah, all right. Thank you, officer. Big fucking hell. Well, come on, let's go move it ourselves, fucking idiots. How did they say no police? Like, not to get the police involved. Oh, we can move it, eh? I said it'd be clear in 20 minutes. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> come on, fucking move. Right, you fucking move! I'm a short boss, dog! I'm a shooting fuck you, police guy, dog! What deal, Mom? <laughs> Set up What deal did you make with Luca Changretta? How's he taking them business here? Eh? Only your, only your friends can set you up. Only your family can set you up. You agreed to give up to me. Yeah. To save my life. <laughs> and you Arthur. You never him, did you? No, we don't do that to her. Own. Think. If it wasn't for me, you'd be smoke blowing out of a watery chimney. Think about that. You also shot a copper. Shot in the arm. With purpose. There's a copper on the floor, the strap we can stab with swarm all over it. Yeah. Luca Changrasa got away. You let him get away. When our paths cross, I won't be so careless. And when will your paths cross? You can find out, man. Study Son. nothing. Yeah, study nothing. Paths go cross. Times are hard in case you hadn't noticed. I hope your insistence that I take a boat rather than a cab from the station wasn't purely for your own amusement. Oh. Good morning, Lady Carlton. <laughs> I'm not a lady. <laughs> At least. You're right, you're not. <laughs> you're right, you're not. At least. Chewing, stabling, feed. Well, the good news is your horse is the fastest filly that I've ever ridden. No. Is the registration papers? Oh, filly. Ready for your signature. Is it Tom Easy? Fastest horse. You've ever ridden. You've lost your wife. And now your brother too. Uh oh. I thought it would make you different. But it doesn't seem to change you. Uh, yeah. Nothing seems to change you. What do you think of his shirt? It's having them made in London. I'm not sure about them. All right, Lizzie, thank you. <laughs> but you know, sometimes oh, you but... see something glamorous and expensive. Oh, you Lizzie! Can't resist it. Oh, li <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a donation. <clears throat> I'll leave it blank. You can decide how much, Mr. Shelby. Wow. Uh, uh, he's a cat fight. And perhaps. Cat fight. Lizzie, you can pop to the bank and pay it in for me. Rankin. How you call Rankin talk? <laughs> That'll be all, Lizzie. Thank you. Did you pack an overnight bag? Nope. No. She doesn't want this. Pity. Why? I mean, why? Well, because 25 minutes ago, the Birmingham branch of the train drivers' union called a wildcat strike. So where will I stay in your city? I you mean, I'll be free at four. I can meet you then. Meet and do what? <laughs> drink I'll tea. Pour you some gin. Yeah, drink some tea. I make myself. I booked myself a room. Already done. The Midland, sweet. 
say that myself sometimes. Sometimes it's where you stay. I'll find you. <laughs> She's being so difficult. This wow, 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 wow. I'm too. Old. What the fuck is that about, Lizzie? Hey. Eh? Why she's still here? Something to do with the coal miners, apparently. Why? <laughs> oh, today's your lucky day, sir. Give me three to one on raging robbers. Oh my God! This is good. Ah, ah, bro. This shit hit the fucking ground with that. I wanted to illustrate to you that at any time we can reach your son. And we will kill your son. <clears throat> Ten thousand pounds. She left it blank, so I filled it in for her. Wow. What's Tommy's diary looking like for the rest of the week? Oh, fuck Tommy and his cock and his chin. Think about the man you love. How much shall we? How much shall we? Think about your white wedding gown. Now pull the tea back into the pot. I'll read the tea leaves. If you go and get Tommy's diary. See if Tommy's got a free afternoon in the next seven days. Read my future and make it fucking good. Make sure he keeps it free. Just read my leaves, Paul. Already have. Black star. You might see a black shimmer, but What are you doing? Should we black star? Stop drinking whiskey. Switch to stout. Why? Make sure Tommy keeps that Friday free. Tell him I have an appointment for him. And then go and see a doctor about that baby in your tea leaves. She made what the black star they use the same black star when um they been going after arms uh, is um Billy Kimba. When they be guy kill Kimba, that way we see me put a black star. Was she pregnant? So what do you say, Mr. Maine? He works hard, he's kind. I need to work on his defense. Right now his left hand is just good for wanking. In 30 years. I've never seen a raw boy so ready. And that's 200, Mr. Main. So who am I fighting first, Mr. Shelby? Me, I'm going to be a champion. Unless somebody kill you. I'm going to go for booty skirt. Do you want the class of the boat from the champion? Jumping off the wall. Is he really making gin? He's going mad cooped up here is what he is. Like a wasp in a beer glass. A wasp in a beer glass. He makes gin to take his mind off being stuck inside a prison. You'd any sense, Mrs. Carlton? You'd get out of here now. I said I would wait. The man you're waiting for doesn't exist. Hmm. Uh, uh, what, what, why are you waiting for the man who doesn't exist? Would you like to try some of his gin? Bro, the fact that Charlie telling her, murder man you're waiting for doesn't exist. He's no more. Don't go on. I, 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 I said I'll wait. Commentary road. Apparently there was a report of armed men in the Small Heath area. And there was a murder at the Summer Lane Hospital. Aye. And something happening on the Stratford Road. Did you to... ever consider the possibility that the communists might win? And you and me, traitors to our class, will be put up against a wall and shot. I'm not a traitor to my class. Small Heath, 551. I am just an extreme example of what a working man can achieve. <laughs> extreme example of what a working man can achieve. Is he here? No, it's not like it's me. everybody can do it, you know? If everybody could do it, then everybody would be doing it. Oh. So he, he is prepared. My God, Tommy. He might have freaking gin. He making gin. Is a hobby? Really a time for hobbies. Since the start of Prohibition, I've been sending single malt, Scotch whiskey to Boston, to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Yeah, this is we be talking about. Car parts. So, with the help of a friend of mine in Camden Town, I set up my own source of supply. Um, Salomon's. Junipers, potatoes, sugar and water, all turned into US dollars. When we're up and running, we'll produce over 200 gallons a week. 200 gallons a week. But before then, I need to get my recipe right. So tell me the truth. <laughs> Do hold back. Do not hold back. It needs, it needs to be sweeter. 
The truth? Yes. You're unlike any man I've ever met. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and the gin. And the gin. Too sweet. Oh. I think I see what I wanted to be sweeter. Your businessman told me a good one. No. If only you could. If only I could what? If only you could change. Go on, say it. If only you could change the bad. And the good is laying off a thousand men, which I do. Like a good businessman. And people go hungry. And the bad. The bad's a fucking winning the horses. And a gun. And some fucking self respect. You fucking people. You fucking people. Change? What do you mean change? Bro, she deal with him, man. She love him, man, because go, I'm man, we be no. Not because. If you change, not the way. You don't want him no more. You keep an eye on our backyard. It's artillery square. Place is full of communists and strikers. I wouldn't have been able to pull that trigger. I know I wouldn't. They would have just walked past. I'm not John. In the end, it's God who pulls that fucking trigger anyway. <laughs> it's God who pulls the trigger. We don't get to decide who lives and who dies, Finn. You mean? Not us. So who? Charlie said it wasn't safe to walk by the canal. Yeah, he's right. Italians north and south, he said. Nah, it's mostly chances. Local kids wanted you to stay. It's too dangerous. Oh, get me on way. Losing occasionally makes me worse. Oh. She looks a picture in my boots, doesn't she, Tom? <laughs> Walk her to the train, Curly. <laughs> yeah. Curly. <laughs> Not a minute on the day. Not a penny off the pen. Jesse Eden. Jesse. Yes? I'd like to buy you a drink. I'm afraid the pubs around here don't allow unaccompanied female drinkers. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm a show, babe. I know you from somewhere. Sorry, ladies, we don't. Oi. You're stupid. Don't what? You don't what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't. What are you drinking, ladies? Next time, make sure you have ice. This pub's come to our attention for its lack of ice. Why? If we get bond on. Move, boy. Before you begin to congratulate yourself, not impressed with your power to terrify people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Whereas I am impressed by your ability to stand up in front of an audience and speak. I know, right? I was never able to do it. He wants to talk about socialism and revolution. God, he's serious. My brother's a bookmaker. Bookmakers hedge their bets. Sometimes long shots come in. Tell your brother that when we take power, all means of production will be owned by the workers. Essential industries will be taken into state control. Birmingham Town Hall is a rather beautiful building and we plan to preserve it. What else does he need to know? He's suggesting dinner in a scrap metal yard. Said you'd appreciate the sentiment. If you don't show up, the offer of parity is withdrawn. This is not how you conduct union business. Yeah. <laughs> we must all make personal sacrifices <laughs> for the good of the good old cause. Right? Old cause. But well, what can happen after them them decide the whole communist thing done guerrilla like tam, tag? <laughs> Solomon! <laughs> Fuck it, it smells of pig around here, doesn't it? Ah, Luffy. Definitely not kosher. Who is everywhere? You mean? Stretch your legs, Striggle. Fuck me, he looks like he's grown since we left London. He looks like him, isn't he? He grows oh, yeah. in dark. Bro, you see man in front of you. On the half Yeah, it is. It is. How come everybody's in fucking bed? So, this must be Goliath. Goliath. Let me introduce you to David. That's my boys. Fuck, the boy said David. Assume that David's out of bed. David is the one who's gonna be fucking killing you. Oh, no. I hear that you've got Italians, mate. you got a kestrel for them and all. Yes. Mm. Mm. I have a kestrel for them as well. Well, everything is confirmed, isn't it? Did I even want to piss some shit indoors? No, or was I actually born? You know, to defecate in the fields and the outhouses. It's a serious issue, though, Tommy. You know, because <laughs> your people, well, your class, and my religion is quite similar, actually, because you just cannot 
wash it out, right? Because it, it come out your mother's tits. How many are there? Eleven. Enough to drop a band who wrapped his balls in an OBE till they fell off. Which side are you playing for, eh? Bow if he doesn't dog is business dog. What kind of world is it to bring up children when your own mate can ask you that question? Wow. You tell Darby Sabini from me. And if the Italians win, they're not planning on leaving. And after me, it'll be him, and then you, and the Titanic, and the fucking Mafia, Alfie. Tommy, when a pikey walks in with hair like that, you've got to ask yourself, have I made a mistake? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I, my friend, <laughs> I am the uncle of that fucking thing right there in whose shadow nothing good nor godly will ever fucking grow. Well, he, there, he got right, it. Is the Southern County's welterweight champion. That's who, like, that's who you get fate. Off due to his lethal dimensions. His mother, terrified, just fucking abandoned him. And there he is. Stood before you like the first of some brand new fucking species. Any man that you put before him, right, it'd be like entering a fucking threshing machine, mate. Now, will you offer your son? Name the day, Mr. Shelby. Well, you're getting dead. He got dead. He got fucking dead. Why would I kill you in the ring? What the fuck? I see that. I see Green Man here for fight. Name the night, Chelsea. Friday the fifth. Not Friday the thirteenth. Your yeah, mother wants me to go to the foundation prize giving. Are you not gonna tell him, man? You. Why? No reason. No reason. Oh, there's a reason, Dad. No reason. And, and the thing is, hey, I was telling Tommy, you don't come oh around for no reason. But like, no reason at all. There have to be a reason. See, man, Tommy, no reason. Have a good weekend. That taught me too smart. He too smart. He boy, too smart. You must ask yourself, but my whole family has set me up. Watch, watch, watch. Polly. Polly. It's trouble. It's trouble. Nothing but trouble in this freaking show, bro. Man. <laughs> Man. Polly. Dog. This has to be like a. This has to be a setup for like. Um, Luca, Polly, <laughs> how putting the black star inside of the book is probably telling um Tommy, you're a setup. We're going to is a setup. A setup is gonna happen. The fact that the black star is inside the book because I did the same thing with um Billy Kimba when when um Grace was there and Grace was like the black star. This is what we're gonna do on the black star. Yeah, so it's a setup. So it's gonna be an ambush when Luca did it. Luca did it in Tommy face and he's gonna be like. Ah. Your own family set you up, and Tommy's gonna be like, Bro, you do a dish. Family is what I have. What do you have? You better look wrong. Everybody got the dead behind him, and he's gonna be like, Where the mother not? The only reason this season nice is because I like the rest of the previous season, the build up, the, the development of the characters, and everything. That's when everything that does come together, mesh together. It's gonna be like, You don't know it's going on, people. It's large of yourself. Bless up yourself. <laughs> Until the next episode, my peoples, have a wonderful day. Be good, stay safe. Peace out.